Hello everybody and welcome back to Horizon Forbidden West where once again I'm gonna change my clothes for aesthetics and probably get my butt kicked in a fight when I forget to change but you know it's fine so the old ones painted their faces with something called makeup like the car chip why yeah it beats me <laughs> why? As it does to my people and the Tanakh. I just think my face says it all as is. That's all. That it does. Hi. Erend? You okay? Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, why wouldn't I be? Because there's two of me now. Hey, there's two of you now. <laughs> well, at least you seem to be handling it okay. <sighs> I wouldn't say that exactly, but I'm trying. What you reading next? I saw a guy added something to the archives about metal rods being used to harness lightning during storms. Guy reminded me of a cousin of mine. Thought he could trap lightning if he covered himself in stormbird plates. Went up the tallest mountain in the claim to prove it. It ended like a lot of Osram things do. With a spark. And a boom. Mm. Mm. Is it the same thing? What are you working on with your focus? I'm still figuring out how to read stuff on this thing. Those two lovebirds over there have been giving me a hand. But to be honest, all the little symbols, they give me a headache. But I'll get up to speed. Well, zoom in. I promise. Like, uh, I'm sure Gaia could make the font bigger. You know what I'm saying? Did you speak with Beta at all? She didn't really wake up till we brought her here. And when she did, I, I thought it'd be better if Zoe and Varl took care of her. No use crowding someone when they're in a state. Also, he is semi uncomfortable with it, which is totally understandable. But I think he also might realize that he's a he's a big man, you know, he might he might scare her a little bit, you know. I have to get going. Don't go causing too much trouble. So it looks like this will be scripted to have companions with you. But when I talked to Cotalo or earlier, he's like, "Do you need my sword?" I was like, "Oh, so I could just maybe I could just bring people along." Poor Aaron, though. I feel like he feels like a puppy. You know, I feel like I should bring him along because he's like, you know, got the love birds and everything. Now I'm like, "Oh, I need to get him." I mean, him Anybody and seen one of my Varl. Strike pieces around. Why don't you check the cash? Maybe you left it there when you dropped off all that ale. Oh, hope it didn't get stained. Oh yeah, okay. So the stash must be like just where they bring stuff for me, which is really nice of them. Aloy, like you're that back. stash. Yeah, I'm just uh, checking up on how everyone's doing. You mean after meeting someone who looks exactly like you but isn't you down in the basement? I mean, I guess this must be even stranger for you than it is. Twins for us. are a thing, I assume. A little. <laughs> Varl said she may be able to help us in our mission, though. Maybe. I actually haven't seen any twins that I know of in this game. But I know when they when we went through the Eleuthia, like, Alpha guys, uh... What's the word, um... Facility, kind of? Um... He was talking about how they specifically weren't gonna be, like, changing the genetic structure of humanity right um which does go into some very deep moral ethical stuff that i'm not going to get into um that it's you know that he chose to leave it as it is and let humanity do its thing i think i don't even know if they even made it more resilient to like illness or anything i don't think they did anything to it just kept it as it is what else have you been up to? I've been studying Gaia's seedlings, the subfunctions. I wanted to understand why one of them would do what they did to Fa. Imagine my surprise when I looked into this Hephaestus and found out it helped create all machines, our land gods included. In a way, the Utaru owe Hephaestus our whole way of life, as well as our current troubles. Yep. That's why we have to make Gaia whole again. Gods can be fickle. 
Learn anything interesting lately? There's been much to read up on now that Ether has been reunited with Gaia. It's hard to imagine that machines like Stormbirds once helped heal the skies. I used to be terrified of them as a child. Thunder still brings chills to my skin. But everything Gaia creates has a purpose, no? Yeah. And if we can get Hephaestus back, she can get those Stormbirds in line. You said you met Beta? Varl mentioned she was hurt. I thought I'd offer her an extract to soothe the pain. That was kind of you. I just hope she doesn't plan on staying burrowed down there like that. She looks like she's barely seen the light of day as it is. Yeah. I need to get going. May the land bloom in your steps. Why can't we have cool sayings like that in English? It's just like... Like I talked about it before. Aloy. There are more supplies in the chest. Thank you. Help yourself. Oh my goodness. Oh, traps too. You know, you guys know what I like. You guys know it. Yeah, I have unused weaves and coils because I freaking don't have any more things to do. With Looks like some of the holograms are working now. Oh. I have repurposed the displays to track Regala's activity. Aw, that's less fun. Useful warm up. Aw, I was like Katala's in the game room, and of course he's turned it into something practical. Oh my gosh. I hope I'm not interrupting. No, but I must ask. The woman Varl and Aaron brought in, she's related to you. It's hard to explain. Um she's more of a copy mm. good if she's anything like you we've just gained reinforcements maybe or she's a spy you said you were training with the focus that's right i've been watching holograms of your first fight with the zenith specters they are faster and more agile than any machines i've faced before how many do the zeniths have I'm not sure. Probably a lot. I would not wish to face them en masse. I'm with you there. Getting Aether out of the grove made for quite a spectacle. One that showed the entire tribe that Ikaro's mission for peace is the correct path, for it is now blessed by the Ten themselves. I heard my friend Talana came by the door. Ah! Did you get a chance to meet her? Briefly. A bold woman going into Tanakh territory with that Karja armor of hers. She'll be lucky if my people don't shoot her on sight. She'll be careful. She's just looking for someone who might need her help. Whoever it is, they better be worth dying for. Mm, she should maybe change her armor, but... Have you had a chance to speak with Varl? Briefly. He fought well against Regala's troops at Baron Light. Are all Nora as skilled as the two of you? I'm not exactly one nah. of them. But anyway, the Nora can hold their own. They managed to push the Karja from their lands. I thought my tribe was the only one to have done that. Impressive. We did. It was the Nora and the Tanakh that um, managed to push push them out. Oh, okay. We good? We good? We good? We good on that? Okay. It has the exclamation point, which makes me think it's not good, but okay. Also, I did... I need to go. Um, shoot. On your way, then. Whatever the most recent update was, I know it was probably a while ago, um, but I did... I did do that. Is that... Do I hear screaming? Oh. My gosh, what is he doing? He's spending his time listening to music. I love that. Live your best life. Um. Yeah, what was I? Um, I'm, I don't remember what I was saying. But I think I said it, so I think I'm good. I think I said it properly, hopefully. Aloy. Glad you made it back uh, okay. Is everybody okay? She panicked after waking up and stumbled down here. I thought it best to wait for you. I'll talk to her. Maybe I should take off all this stuff. 
Hello? It's, uh... It's Beta, right? My name's Aloy. What's wrong? Is it your injury? Simulacrum withdrawal syndrome. I... don't understand. Sudden removal of a neurologically integrated data device. The brain, especially the cerebellum, goes into a kind of... sensory freefall. Everything real feels... unreal. Distant. Is there anything that can help? Do you have a focus to spare? It's, it's primitive, but I can make it work. Yeah. Booting up. It's not implanted, though. It's external. So, uh, Aloy, I suppose you want information. Uh, I'm so weirded out. About you and the Zeniths? This yeah. is so weird. Why are they here? What do they want? How did they get you? But let's start the beginning. I'm guessing they faked the destruction of their ship a thousand years ago? That seems consistent with their behavior. They wouldn't want to be followed. So far, Zenith established a colony world after all. Yes, for a few hundred years, but it didn't mm. last. Some sort of natural disaster rendered it uninhabitable. Okay, so... The descendants of Far Zenith escaped a dying planet. No, no. And now they want to claim Earth for Not themselves? Descendants. Not their descendants. Yeah. Not, not their descendants. It, it, it's them. The same ones who left Earth a thousand years ago. You didn't know? How can they still be alive? They don't even look... What did they do to themselves? I believe it's a combination of pharmaceutical, cellular treatments, and technological implants. And, and you? Does that mean that you're... I'm not like them. I was made. On the way to Earth. On the ship. I spent years studying in my training interface. All so that I could serve my function. Access and control of the terraforming system. But why? What do the Zeniths want with it? When I discovered the Zero Dawn system had disseminated into its subcomponents, I thought my purpose was to fix it. But I don't think the Zeniths want that at all. I think they want to wipe Earth clean and start over. So that would make sense if they were the ones who activated the, the, the Hades corruption. Because they would want... But I, it doesn't... I mean, maybe they want, like, the humans off of it, but, like, to have to start all over again from the get-go and, like, have Gaia rebuild again but without new humans on it is wild. Like, that would take... I mean, they obviously have the time, but, like, I don't know. And I guess they, they think they probably can't take us all. There's probably not very many of them. If they Have they even reproduced? Oh, my God. Gosh, like, probably not. They seem like the sort that wouldn't want to share, you know? Oh my goodness. Uh, let's talk about you first. Holy cow. How did you escape the Zeniths? Before the Hades Proving Lab, I never thought I'd get away from them. Even if I were to run. I'd never survive on my own in the wilds. Then I saw you. And I thought that maybe you could help me. So when the Zeniths pinpointed Eleuthia's location in the biomedical research facility, I saw an opportunity. I don't know. I honest, I want to believe her. Like, 100% I want to believe her. But I also don't know if it was necessarily a good idea to give her a focus and have her... She can broadcast where we are. Like, she can broadcast data about us. Like... I mean, I hope Gaia would be able to sense it if she did try to do that from inside the facility, but she could also be recording data and then, like, get out and, like, send it to them. Like, oh, I don't know. I want, like, this is one of the situations where usually when I think I suspect somebody, I'm like, oh, I don't know about you, but I desperately want to believe her. I could just definitely see her being brainwashed. I don't think she actually could escape on her own. I just don't think she could. You said you saw an opportunity to escape when you went to capture Eleuthia. What did you do, exactly? <clears throat> Whenever I was taken out on a mission to recover a subordinate function, only one of the Zeniths would go with me. The one the rebels killed, outside the facility. But that didn't- that's not how- Venus dead? How did they bypass her shield? That's not- I'm looking into it. But you were talking about your escape? 
Well, when it was time to use the Zenith's transmitter to send Eleuthia back to base, I also sent the encrypted transmission. Then I distracted Verbena long enough to seal myself in the ectogenic chamber, altering the facility's log so it appeared that there were only 236 containers. And the Gaia root kernel? I told them I could capture Luthia faster if I had it with me, and they... believed me. Well done. The Gaia root kernel is pretty... G good evidence that she's not a spy. I don't know what- I don't think they would do that unless they're playing like a long con. You know. And they're trying to gain our trust by having the Gaia Colonel. Um. I just don't see how they could do that. And she was like, oh, how'd they bypass the shield? And if we tell her, then she'll tell them maybe. I don't know, maybe I'm just being paranoid. But also, there was never just necessarily one person who went with her. It was on that- in the Hades one, there were like three of them. Three or four of them. So that's a lie. But that maybe she meant the sub functions, because that was that was a Gaia kernel retrieval. You said you were born on the way to Earth. In an artificial womb, I'm guessing. The Zeniths had an ectogenic chamber aboard the ship. An updated version of the one you found me in. They must have used a stored sample of Elizabeth's DNA. I doubt Elizabeth would have let them take her DNA. Do you know how they got it? That wasn't part of the archive I was allowed to access. You said you spent years studying in a training interface. Was this archive you mentioned part of that? But only the parts I was permitted to access. Aristotle and Aspasia. Oh! The avatars of the archive would assign me learning modules and evaluate my progress. Wait, those names. They were designed to be the virtual guides for the Apollo database. Mm -hmm. Before Ted Farrow purged it. The Zeniths have a copy. So it still exists. And you got to learn from it. Only what was deemed pertinent to the mission. If I requested information outside of my parameters, my tutors would deny it. To have all that knowledge... Just out of reach. Must have been frustrating. <laughs> She's like, yeah. Mm. So we're dealing with the same far zenith people who once lived on Earth. What else do you know about them? They were some of the most affluent and powerful people on Earth. They controlled almost every major resource, every industry. Gerard commands them. He's the one who decided to set up a base. The others, Eric, Tilda, Verbena, they resent his authority over them, but in the end, they always do what he says. Eric, he's the one I fought back in the Hades Proving Lab. He enjoys hurting people. Yeah, I know. You mentioned the Zenith set up a base here on Earth. Where is it? Off the coast, I think. Mm. Whenever I had to go on missions, I was transported inside of a Spectre drone. I couldn't see anything outside. But I did overhear the Zeniths talking about it once. They were discussing setting up a perimeter energy shield to repel the local fauna. I'm certain they have other security measures. Spectre patrols, machine lures. It, it must be impregnable. What's inside the base? Launch facilities so they can shuttle back and forth to their ship in orbit. Plus, infrastructure to gather materials and fabricate anything they need. Are there more Zeniths than the ones you met? Uh, I'm not sure. I, I suppose there must be more of them in the base or back on the ship. For all I know, there could be more of them out in space. Other survivors of the colony. You said the Zenith's colony in the Sirius system was destroyed. What happened? All I was ever told was that a natural disaster forced them to leave Sirius. I've speculated that it was an extrasolar object or a cataclysmic seismic event or maybe even an abnormally violent coronal mass ejection from Sirius A the Zeniths never told you any details they said the only thing that mattered was that they survived first Earth a thousand years ago and then Sirius guess they survived old age too I wonder what happens if you take that away from them, if they just shrivel up like you do like if you're like a necromancer or something you artificially 
inflate like your youth or whatever, you know, and then and then you take that power away and they go bleh, and they shrivel up. Mm. So the Zeniths want to exterminate life on Earth. That's what Guy and I concluded too. But why? Why kill everyone just to take over? Oh, and they took me on missions with them. I saw how they butchered the tribal people we encountered. They didn't seem to care about a rejuvenated Earth, so I concluded that they must want a hard reboot of the system. Then they can redesign it to be exactly what they want. Mass extinction for their own comfort? Who thinks like oh, that? Oh yeah, well, it makes sense. Well, without their Gaia Colonel, they'll have a hard time doing that. It makes sense because, like, they, like, just from, like, their psychology of, like, wh what they even did initially, right? Like, they think they're above everybody. That's why they went into space in the first place. They had the money. They had the power. They had this, like, separatist ideal of, like, themselves as superior and everybody as inferior or less than, you know, less than dirt, you know? So they want to, they want everything to cater to them as it always has. And so they don't even want to like try to like they could they could probably come down as like god kings or something but they don't even want to see the people the that they see as like subhuman you know just want to destroy them get them out they, i think from what she said they don't even like the way like the earth looks right now they want to undo all of it that's what i was wondering earlier like they want to undo all the plant life all the machinery and remake it to how they want it it's like jeez like it it's horrendous but like it makes sense especially after a thousand years or more like in their own heads with this own thinking thinking they're right this self-righteousness it's horrible but it like makes sense psychologically from like where they started to where they are you know it's just an amplification of their initial selfishness the Zenus needed elizabeth's gene print to access zero dawn facilities so they made you trained you and you Went along with it? What's she supposed to do? You told me I was born to interface with the Zero Dawn system. When we reached Earth, I pieced together what must have happened to Gaia and her subordinate functions. That's when I started to realize I wasn't meant to fix Gaia. That they must have made me so I could do what their remote extinction signal failed to do. Reboot Earth for their own benefit. So you know about the extinction signal? It was speculation, but the only logical conclusion why Gaia suddenly self-destructed after operating efficiently for centuries. Gaia would have only undertaken such a desperate course of action if it had detected a threat to life on Earth that was more dangerous than ceasing function altogether. I should have realized that she would also order the recreation of Elizabeth Sobek to rebuild her. Yeah, well, surprise. We're both surprises. Well. All right. I think that's enough for now. Do you want to come upstairs or so how long? You know, your your, your plan. How long before Gaius fabricated a machine army to defeat the Zenus? How did you know optimal strategy? So, well, I still have to get two more subordinate functions before Guy is powerful enough to absorb Hephaestus. What? You don't have Hephaestus already? Guy is still figuring out how to capture it. It's not confined to a single to a single location. Of course not. You didn't even know who the Zeniths really are. You were supposed to be further along by now. Coming here was a mistake. They're going to find me. They're going to find this place and take me back. This was all for nothing. They're not going to find us. Guy is using Minerva to mask our location. What difference does it make? You're too far behind. We're never going to beat them. Everything. Everyone. I'm going to die. Hey. Calm down. You're here now, right? So is there anything you can do to help? She seems very strategic. I have certain knowledge sets. And given your state of progress, expertise you probably lack. Geoengineering, of course. Computer science, physics, biology, chemistry. Okay. Well... See if you can do something with that. Talk to Gaia. I'll check on you later. I thought we should take her in to see Gaia. How'd it go? Her injury's not that bad, but I think she regrets coming here. Feeling might be mutual. No. Oh, come on. I'll come back later and talk to her. See if I can learn anything. 
I realize that they're probably complicated, but there's no need for them to be like. She get the weapon fragment to Gaia. You know, I mean, he only needs to understand that she's she's highly confused. She's never done anything like this before. Like Ayla has been independent her whole life. This woman has not, and has been doing the best with what she had. And you know, I don't know. You gotta you gotta cut her a little bit of slack. She's gonna be a bit volatile at the beginning. But Aloy is not a people person. Welcome back. Aloy, I see we have a new guest. So now we know the origin of the transmission. Yeah, I also recovered this. The weapon it was part of somehow stripped a zenith of its shield. How did they get it? But it malfunctioned and blew How up. did the Tanakh get that? If we can recreate the weapon and improve it, maybe we'll gain the upper hand on the zenith. A moment. I will scan it. Complete. By combining the results with data from your focus, I can infer that the weapon was highly advanced comparable to Zenith technology, but not how it worked. Did the explosion corrupt the data? It was only a catalyst. The moment the weapon malfunctioned, it appears a command executed to purge all data within its core. Ostensibly, this was to prevent the weapon's secrets from falling into enemy hands. Whoever designed this weapon knew how to cover their tracks. Silence. Oh, Based on your I data on him, totally that is my forgot well. about silence. And he's not going to cooperate with us. Well, it was worth a shot. But that's not all. The Zenus got Aluthia, along with Artemis and Apollo. That is unfortunate. However, our original plan remains unchanged. The two remaining subordinate functions should increase my heuristic processing density enough to absorb Hephaestus. Right. One problem at a time. Well, I guess I better get back out there. I wish you luck on your search. Right. Thanks, Guy. So I guess we won't be making use of Cylon's weapon. And now there is... Another clone of Elizabeth here with us. But I can't let it distract me. I still have two more subfunctions to get. Wee! There's much to be done. Oh, it's probably his music. Um. I don't know. I think she's being a little hard on her, like I said, but... Oh, there's so much information to take in at once. I totally forgot. So I'm trying to picture, like, the relationship between, like, us, the Tanakh Rebels, and the Zenith. And I totally forget the Silens is in the mix, too, right? Um, because I'm like, maybe the Rebels and the Far Zenith had some sort of alliance, but now, especially given more of what I know of Far Zenith, they... I don't know. I could see them maybe being extra crafty and canny and trying to, um, like, use the the people like as a as like a tool to just to destroy other people. But more and more, I think that they're not related. But somehow they know of each other. Like somehow the rebels knew of Far Zenith. I, well, no, because uh, Silence is helping them. So that's, okay, so, so that, that's, that's, the, that's the piece to that puzzle, right? Silence is helping them. But do we have the materials down here to make a weapon like that? He must have accessed the schematics for those. Somehow, maybe through Hades? I don't know. I, I totally forgot about Silence because he does. But I wonder what his overall game is. Maybe he wants the immortality of the Far Zeniths in the end so that he can spend his whole life absorbing knowledge, which, you know, I get. I totally get. But I, I also don't think he wants the total destruction. Maybe that's maybe he is just trying to get their, like, immortality information. But also is it giving Aloy enough hints to, like, prevent them from totally, totally annihilating, like, the human race. I don't know. I'm just speculating, but... 
thank you all for joining me. I appreciate it. This is all very exciting. <laughs> and there's just so much going on. And now I have to process the bigger picture again for like all the quests that we have to do and try to keep track of that. So thank you all for joining me. I appreciate it. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons, to all my patrons, but to especially Reese Galito, my sapling tier patron. Thank you so much for your support. And an extra special shout out to my two tree tier patrons, Christopher and Adam. Thank you both so much for your support. You guys, you guys are the super bestest. Very supportive, and I couldn't appreciate it more. So thank you guys again, and I hope to see you all in the next one.